Hi guys, and welcome to our review of the Adidas F50 RD0 2014 in the neon pink solar blue colorway. Before we go into the review, if you could very quickly leave a like for our video and subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so, we would appreciate it greatly. So the F50, how do we find it? Right from the outset, we are not going to mince our words. We are in love with this pair of boots. It's not just us who think so. Top professionals like Lionel Messi, Gareth Bale, Ian Robin, James Rodriguez and Karim Benzema are loyal wearers of the boot. And the F50 was also the top scoring boot at the recently concluded World Cup 2014 in Brazil. So what has impressed us so much about these pair of boots? What makes these pair of boots our go-to boots whenever a big match is coming up? Well, watch the rest of the video to find out. In terms of touch, the Happy Touch Synthetic is thin, soft and flexible, which is everything you could possibly ask for in a boot meant to provide a barefoot feel. It complements the weightlessness of the boot perfectly. The upper is made using an artificial leather grain finish, which quite amazingly, actually provides just a tiny hint of a soft leather touch. Don't be mistaken, however, the touch you get is still a predominantly barefoot one and a very premium one too. The hint of leather just adds a very nice finishing touch. In this version of the F50 RD0, instead of going with the standard dribble text that on the, are present on the toes and middle area of the foot, Adidas have opted to add a slightly tacky and sticky finish to the neon pink portion of the boot. For those who are worried that this may provide a sticky feeling, do not worry because the feel of this particular RD0 does not differ from the standard RD0s. Stickiness is not a factor at all. It does not add any bulk to the upper and a touch at all as well. When it comes to traction for the F50 RD0, it has improved dramatically over the previous one. The studs under the forefoot is where everything has changed. Instead of triangles, the studs are elongated and now resemble bladed studs. There are three bladed studs running along both sides of the forefoot, one support stud in the middle and one mini stud right at the top of the toe area. The new bladed studs are similar to the older triangular studs in that they provide great maneuverability when your foot is planted but at the same time they provide great grip when cutting and accelerating. Only this time, the upgrade to the studs by making them longer and more blade-like means that while the maneuverability is maintained, cutting and sprinting off are much more improved and provide a much more responsive experience. In terms of shooting the ball on the RD0, it's a fantastic feeling. The super thin hybrid touch upper offers one of the finest feelings when striking the ball. There is only a small hint of taking away just the perfect amount of sting but basically allowing you to feel every bit of the ball. It is truly sensational. The amount of precision that you get when striking the ball is unrivaled. There is no additional grip on the ball that gives a sticky feeling, just giving a very clean strike overall. It really focuses on your own abilities. The rigid sole plate gives that perfect platform for you as well to strike the ball hard and it makes for a very stable sensation when striking the ball. Now when it comes to protection of the boot, the only thing that would be sacrificed in a boot like this would be protection, but that's really to be expected given the thin nature of the boot. The heel cup does provide some protection from nibbles at your heel by your opponents, but that's really about it when it comes to protection. But we think that for those who choose to wear the F50s, you guys already know that. Now we come to the fit and durability and comfort of the F50. The fit of the F50 RD0 is nothing short of sensational. When you lace up the boots, there is no excess space whatsoever and the boot hugs your foot like a glove. In terms of width, the F50 RD0 is actually much more forgiving than a pair of Mercurial Vapors and is very comfortable for a boot that is designed for speed and just very comfortable overall in fact. For sizing, go through the size. There will be some stretch over the first few games and training sessions after which the boot will mold perfectly to your foot. Durability wise, for a boot this light, it actually only weighs a stunning 5.3 ounces. The durability is outstanding. We have been using this on artificial and natural grass pitches for multiple matches and there are no durability issues at all. Signs of wear are minimal and there is no sign of any sole separation which is extremely impressive. If you want a speed boot that lasts and consistently gives you top confidence and top performance, look no further than the F50 RD0. Adidas has really impressed us this time round.
in the Singapore context. For the players out there who play regularly on artificial pitches, the F50 RD Zeros are surprisingly solidly performing boots on artificial surfaces. Whether it comes to grip, push-off or maneuverability, these are all maintained and they feel largely like they do on natural grass pitches, which is something that many boots are unable to achieve. If you're worried that because the studs are a bit longer and a bit more blade-like that they might get stuck on artificial turf, do not worry, we have no issues with that at all. So in conclusion, the F50 RD0 is a boot that has impressed us thoroughly. It is a boot that we will be using for a good long time more. Comfort is superb, touch is fantastic, traction is responsive. This truly is a top boot. But what do you guys think? Leave your comments in the box below, and we look forward to reading what you have to say about the F50 RD0s. Other than that, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.